Okay, now I want to talk about keys and scales. They're very closely related. Keys, not like piano keys, but like uh, music theory, a key, the key of C, the key of D, the key of D flat, whatever. Those are all keys. What is a key? It's, um, it's like a musical world of possibilities based on seven notes, seven given notes. So the key of C has seven notes, including C, that go with it. And with those notes, it's like a palette in art, a palette of colors that you can use to uh, combine in different ways and make a painting. Similarly, you can combine mu those seven musical notes in all kinds of different ways to create chords. And then you can put chords one after another to create a chord progression, right? And you can build a song like that. But you're starting with a key, so seven notes. Now, what is a key for? A key is for, yeah, building stuff with but. The fact that it's just those seven notes and they're in a particular relationship that's kind of familiar, well, that's to give you a sense of orientation. You ever listen to a, a piece of music and it just seems like random sounds happening and you're just like, what, this isn't music? There's no organization. They're not arranged. They're not, I don't have any sense of where I am or where I'm going or coming. It's just like sounds happening, right? Well, that's what a key is for. It gives you a sense of location in sound. Okay? It's centered around this note, and the key of C is centered around this, this note, the C note, and those six notes that kind of go with it. And everything that happens is kind of within that realm of possibility. It's a limited realm of possibility, but it's a very, very big one, too, at the same time. Now, one key is much like another. Um, C... And a song that sounds that's in the key of C can sound almost identical from uh, a song that's in a key of uh, D flat, even though it uses all kind all different all different set of seven notes. But um, it can it's still a key. It's still a major key, and it's going to sound really similar because it shares the same pattern. Okay, now. Scales. What's a scale? Well, a scale is when you take those seven notes and you lay them out. You just lay them out in order from lowest to highest, starting with the the one major, the uh, the one important one, which is called the tonic, the one that gives the key its name. So, in, in the case of a, a key of C, C note. Okay, there's a C note, and a scale is when I take those seven notes and I lay them out in order, like this, in that particular pattern that comes with uh, any major key. And that pattern dictates a set of intervals, a set of, um, uh, yeah, kind of like a template for figuring out what the next notes should be, where they should all go. Because it's going to be, uh, and it's a, the same pattern for C and D flat and D and any key, okay? The scale is just taking the seven notes, laying them out in the particular pattern. Now, what is the particular pattern? It's a series of whole tones and half tones, or, or major and minor seconds. So here's a whole tone. Here's another whole tone. Here's a half tone now. And then a whole tone. And so on. It's a series of whole tones and half tones. But it's the same series. It's the same pattern, right, for any major key for any major scale, right? Any laying out of those notes. If you change it, you can make it into a minor scale or a different kind of a scale, but we're gonna work with major keys because um, every major key has what's called a relative minor, which shares all of the same notes and all of the same relationships between the notes, so when you're talking about major, you're kind of also talking about minor in terms of key. So we're not even going to worry about that right now. Okay, so there's a scale. It's a scale. It's a C major scale. And the notes that are included in it are the notes of the key of C. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is simply this idea. Instead of calling them by their names, which are these C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then it repeats C and so on. Let's put numbers on them. We'll start with one. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, so on. Okay? So one here is the same as one here. We're just going to count those seven notes, but we're going to call them by those numbers. So, so C, in the key of C, C is one. In the key of C, D is two. In the key of C, E is the three note. In the key of C, F is the four. G is the five, and so on. This goes right into chords.